The reason I couldn't go up is because I couldn't sing one part only. <laughs> because as conductors, we're all, we're, where are the breath marks? You don't want to hear me when I'm breathing for the tenors to come and breathing for the altos. And it's a little bit of what we're talking about here, where you're preparing where the breath marks are. So if I actually sang what was in my head, it would not be the way that we all know how we chorus, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Number 39. Too old. Thank you. Page 204. Hello, my name is Pierre Tang. I study here. Not anymore. Dr. Tang. He's got his dissertation to do with. 204. Are you recording as well, Pete? Oh, sorry. I think so. It's flashing. Yes, it is. Choose on text. We'll see our journey.
Thank you. Beautiful job here. This is one of those like really um, truly special moment because um, I know I have to get through this. I will get through this. Um, Andrew and I lost our father, and the night that he passed away, this was running my head. So root fall to rest well, and I'll come right into that spot. And so we have kind of the same DNA. Andrew and I go back a long, long way. So the night that Dr. Flummer passed away, Andrew texted me. And it was just, you know, it's like losing your own parent. And then, at, then Andrew wrote me about two months later and said, would you come? I'm like, I can't step in for Dr. Flummer. Who, who can ever step in, to even partially? But I thought, um, you know, a way to come and say thank you to him. So this is one of those like really goosebumps moment that here I am, you know, doing a partial makeup for uh, him not being here, but then to sing this piece that, um, and having, you know, studied that with him. But um, anyway, just wanted to share that moment. So I, I'm usually very happy, always happy <laughs> to get invitations um, to go teach and everything. But when I received this invitation, I actually had to sit in front of my computer and got teary for a few moments. And I, I'm not an emotional kind of a person, but I, to think that here I am, you know, he, he would have been here. Um, you know, he's taught here three years, right? And he would have been here. And that this piece was the one that was running in my head the minute I got the news that he had passed away because, you know, we had learned this with him. So anyway, that was just a little moment. <laughs> Um, but it's, it's because this, this gathering, this is part of like, we're his, we have his DNA, I think, Ender and I, I would safely say that, um, and that his spirit is still here, that we can do, and if you've um, sung with him, if you know of him, the spirit is very much here, the way that the teaching is here, um, and I, I, just having known him all those years, but, so, if, if I may attempt to even, um, what is your... Um, ideal choir size and orchestra size as you're conducting right now. I'm just curious because something like this can be done. I, I do, I'm a chorus master for orchestra as well, so I prepare large and small choirs, but I'm just curious for yourself. I think this is pretty much it. Okay, so this is your choir and then this is the, this is the what, about 20? Are we about 20 here? Yeah. 16, okay, good. Um, I, I, I ask that because our gestures I, I know that if I were conducting this in a different size group, it would change. Mm -hmm. um, yours is a great intimacy in there and beautiful shaping. And I know that you're hearing all the different parts. So a beautiful, lots of just beautiful things happening in here. And I know you're an orchestral conductor. So getting this side um, would just, I think, really help. So here's just a, a few things. So for, back to the first word. When I think of root form, that we um, rest well. You have to get in, um, in a way we don't rush. It's not drive through, root ball, <laughs> next root ball. For me, there's something about the way that he sets and the root. There's almost, there's a feeling, there's no rush. I know we have to breathe and we have to stay in time, but there's just an added quality. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Just an added quality of the text, because the text was so important for Bach and so important for this word, that it's rest well. Rest well. So there's a little bit more. Um, I, I, I'm using my gestures to take the, the place of my words to just be more grounded. There's no rush because, um, and even if it's just infinitesimal, we're talking very, something very, very little, that it's still, um, that we don't have a sense of here's the first one, here's the second one, so forth. Not that you have it, but I would just think about those two words. What does it mean to rest well? And how do we breathe? And how do we accept resting well? In the midst of great pain, right? Yeah, the, the finality of it, but also the acceptance of it. 
Anyway, um, just beautiful shape I, in your conducting. I could see you trying to shape all the all the different things, and your one man orchestra here is doing a superb job. Of, um, it's hard because when you're oh, you know, when you're um, one there. Okay, um, so then let's see. Um, on page two o nine, so as you went to the B section, okay, I wondered about that breath in the character. I know the tempo for you changed and it, and then it settled down. Was that your intention to go that much faster? It's a jittery. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Because it has to stay within the character. And I thought then the breadth of it, because you're coming off, you've cut off the orchestra. The character of that breath will set what is to come. Um, it, it's that one, uh, where was it? Page two, okay, yeah. So cutting off. So in that breath, we set the character, we set the tempo, and I felt that that breath to me felt rough, and therefore the rest of it came in a little fast, and we got a little hyper, and then things started to settle down again as we uh, come back to it. So let me just kind of point the things out, and then we'll go back. Um, I love your rubato. I think there's this good time to go into the phrase and so forth. Let me just see what I um, noted down. I, I try not to ruin your score here. Oh, that's that's why. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, one other thing. So because I prepare for a lot of orchestral conductors, okay, so here's the job um, that I often have to tell my own choirs, you must breathe even when you see this. It's really hard and sometimes just to be aware for really for the most part you breathe beautifully and I could hear you um, feeling and singing but there are some moments in there that I saw but it could be mm, mm, not a little hard <laughs> it's kind of get got out of character because overall your character is so beautiful throughout the whole thing and so just something to watch out for I, I see that more with orchestral conductors um, more because I have to, and I once had to prepare one work that I actually, in, at the end of the rehearsal, to tell them, don't look. Because, and you know, I'm, I'm not dealing with professional singers who are, can, you know, ignore that way. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, let's go back to the opening, shall we? So page two, oh, oh, sorry, here I am. I'm just talking lots here. Are you recording? Yes. Five minutes. All right. Okay. Oh, you're tiny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, double duty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So can we just do like a little lead in and get into the two plus? Are we singing this again? Hmm? Are we gonna sing? Yeah. Yeah. Can I stand? Oh, this sure. It's so hard to sing. We're not doing justice. And if you're feeling tired from all the standing, we'll take a break after this one, so you can do it. So this is pick up to ten. Great. Um, I see this this one kind of the um, wrist giving the beat, and you know, as an orchestra conductor, you know that if we can kind of for for the orchestra's sake to have a, you know this this clear ictus, and then when the choir comes in, see for now, just experiment with breathing a little lower. There, I think there might something might be different. Okay. So you just one, just open it. So no, no. is does that you see the difference between and one? Mm. Open that breath up. It partly has to do with where the o and the o vowel sits. O, o, and the sounds those words are partly what make this feel. Let's try that. Um, right there. And... 
you reach in a little deeper for the breath and then also for the text and then not rushing through the whole it almost feels like it's in eternity right mm -hmm. but but we're, we're still within that time and not being afraid to go a little just because they're coming in to, to come in a little lower so that we're more connected to that deeper breath and it's more centered okay? i was a question why why does box set this beginning soprano not singing the melody until the next time through it's why does we it ask the early music <laughs> expert i think i think because it's it makes it calm on the surface so it's calm on the surface and some churn underneath but the top is about resting there's a subtleness singers all the time that I have to watch those gestures so in particular for the soprano so let's they start out nice and easy now they have to go up and they're gonna need um, some assistance so the so some assistance for them to go up there so finding out moments where who needs help and then where the other parts we in and out? Have we run out of yeah. time? Okay, I'm sorry. I, I would have just, yeah. yeah. But and then, so then back to that vol yet. And I think that it, it takes time to think through these things, you know? And, um, and, and our life experiences, I think, will form us and help us to understand or maybe come at text differently at different stages of life. And this is one of those movements. Mm -hmm where you, you look at it and it's not, not, no, not just a pretty, not just a beautiful movement, but a heartfelt, you know, life-changing moment in there. But I, I'll talk some more with you later on <laughs> because I've run out of time. Thank you so Thank much. You. Any comments for Pierre or questions for Pearl? Just beautiful expressing. Yeah. 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 Fun to watch. Yeah, you can really see. Oh, okay. We're going to take 10 minutes.